a very very late today I've been doing DIY and I got carried away and I totally lost track of time so here I am um, I was inspired because one of my neighbours very kindly the other day socially distance wise handed me a basil plant she has been nurturing and I love herbs and spices but um, growing them but I haven't had um, the chance to get to a garden centre so I didn't have enough pots and I thought you know what we are going to rock out a tin can pot so a couple of my neighbours thank you Tricia have been saving pots for me uh, tin cans and I thought I would have a go so um, I have had a disaster I will fess up to that this one was meant to be blue but I think I've had the spray paint for too long and it's just gone manky so they're all white today because it's the only colour spray paint that I have so I've just put it in the bin because it's sticking to everything at the moment uh, so I have done the same as I did yesterday in I filled my tin can with water popped it in the freezer and then I've taken it out and I have drilled two holes in the sides for my string to go through and three holes in the bottom so they can drain because otherwise you get waterlogged. Uh, and I've done that with two cans um, because I wanted to show you, I actually want to show you three different ways, show you two. Um, and I'll talk about the third. So this one I have sprayed with primer to start with. Um, like I showed you yesterday and then just with normal matte spray paint white because that's what I have uh, and then all I've done is I've also got some chalkboard paint so I've painted just a little stripe and I'm actually going to write on there basil so my basil will go in there eventually um, so it will have basil written on it and then if you want to keep make it last you can actually do it with white paint and then paint over the top and that will kind of seal it um, but if you're like me and plants die quite frequently then it's quite handy because you can interchange the labels on the front always quite good this one I have painted with I actually found somewhere um, some chalk paint so it's a spray chalk brilliant stuff love it coverage is fantastic so I've sprayed that one just with chalk paint and I've just wrapped some hessian string around the top and I'm also going to put a loop on it as well um, and I've just written rosemary um, on the front of it and you can actually paint over the top of that with a varnish if you want to seal it what you can do as well paint it white or whatever color you want underneath and if you've got those little sticky dots you know the little white plus uh, white stickers the round ones you can stick those all over it and then spray it another colour and then when you peel off the sticky labels you're en you end up with just these little dots all over it which looks really funky especially if you go for pastel colours um, so it's that one then there's also this idea which is that you can actually keep hold of the lid paint the lid black drill a little hole in the lid and actually have it as almost like a gift tag that attaches um, and you can say it's a blackboard so you can if you paint it with blackboard paint then you can write on it whatever you want um, so you can write the name of the plant you can write the care instructions if you're going to give it as a gift to somebody whatever you want to do it's just a little added extra and it uses up a bit more of the tin can and it's recycling which is just always good isn't it so tin can planters for today this one just as a little hint I've kept whereas yesterday the string for the candle was a little bit shorter it was about there kept the string longer because obviously the plant needs room to grow okay um, and you don't have to put the string on if you don't want I just like hanging them from the garden wall or the garden fence it's quite a nice way of keeping them and it, it can keep the slugs at bay but a little hint for that if you can get copper tape just put a little line of copper tape and that's quite decorative as well and it keeps the slugs away so tin can planters today thank you bye